Have you ever looked at a relationship online and wondered what things were actually like for them? Well, we have absolutely nothing to hide, so we're going to be taking you on a beautiful spring weekend with us and answering some questions along the way. This is going to be fun. Alright, first things first, we are here at the mall getting Mother's Day presents. It is packed. So busy. Oh, well, there's so many people here, so we're going to get in and out. I got some Chick-fil-A though. Dropped them in good and refreshed. Uh, I was getting I grumpy. I had a Starbucks sandwich. I was getting grumpy, but now we're back. <laughs> And we're gonna go shopping. Tell them what we got in mind, baby. Okay, so we're gonna do candles. So it's like buy three, get three free, but we need more than. We need four. So we need well, six. Well, we need like eight items. So buy six, do... get six free. Yeah. That way we're gonna have some backup options. So we're gonna buy six candles and then get like six lotions. Oh, this I like that. Dress. Get that one. Uh huh. Prepare. Prepare. Your antenna hit the garage. <laughs> get in the car, everyone, we'll watch out. We know what happened last time. We almost died! Right after we stopped filming, we almost hit a median. <laughs> we have returned, ladies and gentlemen. So we got a buttload of stuff. A lot of candles. A ton of stuff, huh? Yeah. So we got all the stuff for Mother's Day for everyone. We got a bunch of candles and matching lotions. Ooh. Yeah, so like a set. Ooh, that's lotions. And they smell delicious. Yeah, it's pretty good, right? They smell so good. And then we're gonna put them in these little bags here. Fantastic. And then we got them all cards. Yes. We gotta fill all these guys out. Uh -huh. Probably tonight. What we're we gonna do next? Oh, we're going on a little double date. Double date. We're gonna go to the Cheesecake Factory and then to a drive-in So you guys are coming along the way. That'll be a lot. <laughs> a lot of people were commenting on the last video asking, what do you think the most important thing of a relationship is, blah, blah, blah. So we're gonna be answering a few of those questions throughout the video again. Yes. No question and answer. So first question we have for you. Oh gosh. What do you think is the most important thing or attribute in a strong relationship? Like, what do you think makes our relationship strong? Communication. I think the way we talk to each other about everything and like, even if it's a really hard conversation, I feel like we still have it, you know? Right. Even though it can be difficult, I feel like that's really important to build a good relationship, to be able to talk about things even when it's hard, even when it's not the easy option. So do you think people struggle with that and that's why they don't have strong relationships? Yeah, because like, you don't want to admit to somebody, oh, I'm insecure about this or this is making me feel weird because nobody wants to admit they're insecure. And I think a lot of the time people don't have the conversations because let's say their partner's in a good mood and they don't want to be like, oh, we need to oh, have this like, hard conversation. Yeah. And like, oh, we've been having such a good day today. I don't want to say this yeah. thing that upset me. So then it kind of gets pushed under the- But then not every hard conversation should turn into, into a, fight a fight or should turn into like ruining the day. Like right. you should be able to have a good day, have a hard conversation and, and still have having a good day. day. You know what I mean? Word. And with that, we were off to our double date. Mm. So far, bro. Movie time. Holy freaking bonsai. We in the movie. We definitely didn't smuggle all this candy in the theater. After a late night, we were on to the next day. Welcome to day two of the vlog. We've been relaxing, but today we're back at it on the grind again. We're at the pool Gotta today. Get our summer tan. We're some working people, working folk here on a Monday. <laughs> working hard, you know what no, I'm saying? It's the hard work life. <laughs> <laughs> it's tough out here, man. <laughs> We're just hanging out by the pool today. We got a beautiful day ahead of us. Pool day was lit, but you know I needed some grub. This is my little sister. Her <laughs> name is Olivia. We're feasting right now. We're um, all over the place. Flying Dutchman. But we're gonna play a little game tonight. Play a game. play game. Oh, yeah. It's a game where you sculpt statues? No, you can't tell them yet. Oh. Oh. Sculpt statues, that's all you can know. But I'm about to go crazy on the game. So we're just keeping you updated. But oh, babe, we need to answer another question. Shout out to Carson for always keeping me fed. And Olivia. Whoa. Why do you feel like good relationships are so hard to find? I think people are a little selfish. So they're more worried about themselves without realizing, like, in order to find a good relationship, you have to dig deep within yourself and change stuff about yourself. A healthy relationship doesn't start with finding a perfect person, it starts with bettering yourself and fixing your own flaws. That makes you like, not be a good person for relationships. Uh, wisdom. Boom. You agree? Word. Spitting wisdom. Olivia. That was so cringy. <laughs> so we're shopping. Well, currently we're at Ross. And they're that. not. She's not buying a single thing. I'm not letting her. But I'm buying her an outfit. What the freak? You're not. What? 
<laughs> That's enough, enough shopping. We got some Dairy Queen. They forgot my freaking order, dog. They didn't order it. Essentially, is what happened. <laughs> they both got chocolate stuff too, which is nasty as nuts. <laughs> what is toxic masculinity to you? And what do you think about it? Oh gosh. That's a good one, huh? Mm -hmm. Dude, you dribbling the stuff all down no, the side no. of that. I think people would confuse what toxic masculinity is and what just like being masculine is. But I think toxic masculinity is more so like you kind of let being masculine take over your whole life or you can't talk about your feelings because you don't think it's manly enough or you like, oh my gosh, like all those guys that like, oh, I make all this money so like, I can sleep around with multiple different women because like I'm a king and whatnot. I think what makes you truly masculine and not toxic masculinity is being able to control yourself, controlling your freaking, um, like controlling your behavior, controlling your wandering controlling eye. Controlling where like, your wand goes. There's, <laughs> <laughs> I feel like people like, especially nowadays with all the podcasts and all those people that have huge platforms, you know, because they say stuff like that. But in my head, that's toxic masculinity. Not like, but I think what makes you really masculine is being able to like give all your love to one person to like really value the woman you love and mm. the woman you want to be with. You know what I mean? Real. I think the easy option is sleeping around. I agree. Right? Boom! Do you like anti-tape? <laughs> <laughs> I'm a No. You know? He's got some good stuff, but a majority of the stuff I don't agree with because they take things out of context. Because they'll take see a little clip and think, oh, I should treat women like that. Or like the guys who say like women only hold their value like through their looks and stuff. Like mm. these little boys that grow up to be men will never find a good woman because that's what they believe. Right. You know what I mean? That all of their value is in looks and stuff like that. Real. My little educated woman. Okay, bye guys. We'll see you. In the next clip. Bye. <laughs> Oh my gosh! I got my cracked Fortnite girlfriend here. <laughs> Playing on the Switch. It's not my strong suit. Uh -huh. She's a dog, I'm making bruh. noodles. Oh, we're bread. about to try some spicy freaking noodles. Oh my gosh, he Ooh. ran away from oh. I didn't put as Ew. much sauce. Ew, who whipped this thing up? Ew. <laughs> They're steaming like a mofo. Am I gonna like the flavor in these ones? I like the this regular so ones, good. guys. Bodak noodles. Oh frick, bro. The carbonara flavor. Huh? That the cream carbonara. Them boys are hot as a mug. No, they're not. Mm -hmm. These are good. I don't know about y'all, but I love these ones. Spicy, you no know, sprinkles are the best. Yeah. Dog, these johns are hecka spicy. I don't care what anyone says. But they taste so good. They huh? actually are better than I expected. I Normally, spicy food tastes like trash. Oh, Cheers. Oh, bon appetit. Dom bon appetit. <laughs> W noodles. Tell them what we do, man. <laughs> okay, we're doing a clay thing, a clay game. Got uh, 80 it. pounds of clay here. You've probably seen that TikTok. I will show you guys what we're gonna make. Excellent. This is what we're gonna shape. So we all have to sculpt it with our own. And you guys get to be the judge of who's is best. My. Don't tell them who's is who's. Okay, yeah, I'm so taking give a third her of it. an equal piece. All right, you ready for your no. question, baby? <laughs> yes. What makes someone a good partner? What makes somebody mm. a good partner? Mm. Mm. <laughs> Dog, this is hard to mold, bro. <laughs> Holy I know, we should have got Play Doh for you. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, my head are too wrinkly at freaking big ones. Well, obviously, <laughs> someone who treats you good. I hope but so. But don't worry, once I start spinning, I start spinning. <laughs> She's got to warm up. I know, I got to think. She's got to calibrate. Prepare my answer. You don't want to feel judged no, by cook. somebody. You want to be with somebody that you can be Indeed. your true I'm self cook. with. Are you even listening? Uh-huh. <laughs> somebody you can be your true self with. They're going to be like, she is so sad. <laughs> <laughs> like, run. <laughs> somebody who makes a good partner is somebody who doesn't judge you. Somebody you can really you. be yourself with and you never feel like, oh, I'm being too much for them, you know? It's somebody you can love to the fullest without thinking. Thinking, oh, I'm gonna scare them off. A good listener, you want a good listener and a partner. Yeah. Right, yeah. but that, you can't run off of sweetness in a relationship. You need somebody who's reliable, who's to show trustworthy. Them true colors. Who's responsible. True colors. Because I guess it's person to person. It depends on what you're looking for in your partner. Would you say someone who aligns the goals that you have is important? For yeah, of course. Like morally, you need to be in the same place. You gotta want the same things for your future. But the question was, was what makes a good partner? 
So what would you say makes me a good partner or makes you a good partner? Pluto, get out I of here. Think... <laughs> Pluto, what the frick you doing, bro? I think we're both very good communicators. So you have to be good at communicating in order to Very be good at communicating. You have to be trustworthy. Not your own love language, <laughs> but the other trust? person's <laughs> love language. <laughs> that is nice, You have to know the other person's love language. You can't love them. How you would want to be How loved. you would want to be loved. You have to get to know your person and know how they feel. Which I think loved. is the hardest part of a relationship. You think so? Oh, one of the hardest yeah, parts. Yeah, because 100%. you have to spend a long time with somebody and in learn order. what makes them feel loved. You can't love them because say like well say that your love language is acts of service and you keep giving this person whose love language is words of affirmation like oh i made your bed for you oh i did this for you and expect them to feel loved when what would make them feel loved is you waking up every day and saying hey you look good today you mm -hmm. look great like i'm so proud of you you know what i mean you have to learn how the other person feels loved and you need to have a conversation about that in order to understand that about someone yeah for sure but even after that conversation you're gonna slowly get to know people like and make sure you're dating that. somebody that wants to get to know you that right. wants to love you the way you want to be loved it doesn't want to just receive love that's what it's a good mm. yeah mm. Oh, is it olivia proof yeah <laughs> olivia but yeah yeah but date Word, somebody baby. that wants oh, to no, love you no. not wants to be loved <laughs> That Real. makes sense, right? I love it, baby. Yeah. I, stop that thing I love now. you. Okay, stop. I love you. He, you. <laughs> I'm just he kidding. You. I love you. After many, many hours, here are the final results. Let us know down in the comments who won, but I think we all know. Olivia, let us know. This is mine. <laughs> this is Carson. <laughs> And this is Abigail. Bro, let of me tell course. You, let me tell you this. The mine's the best. Oh, no. Mine's the best. Mine had a creative touch to it with the belly. That was not how the inspo <laughs> pick was. So you. We were following you an inspo follow pick. Technically, he broke the rules. He's you out of the qualified. Person sucks. Much cuter than all these other ladies. No, okay, he's fat and chunky. <laughs> and just like that, the weekend had come to an end. If you like this, subscribe, and I'll see you next week.